it's great. Uh, but yeah, that's the wonderful world of Hollywood. Um, speaking of which, actually, uh, we've got another thing coming out, which I'm sure everyone's excited about. Echo! Ooh, Echo is no. here, and it's... Uh, well, it's going to be... Out, what, like, four no one knows days? what that is, Drinker. <laughs> wow. Well, strictly from Gary bitching about it over the years. That's the only thing I know about Echo. <laughs> I mean, I was curious to see what it was going to look like, and the they've leaked a little bit of footage, because we've got the trailers and stuff, but like, I prefer to look at this, and it was a fight scene that's going to be between Echo and Daredevil, and I'm just going to oh, let yeah. you guys experience this. The devil boy. Um, and who knows, it might get them to stream demonetized, but it's worth it because it's so hilarious. Here we go. God, I have to see this again. <laughs> I'm so sorry that you have to experience this, but oh god, it looks rough. Why why oh, would you yeah, do this as bad. one continuous take when they clearly don't have it in them to do this? I saw that mm. jump cut there as well. They um they're trying. I, 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 it reminds me of the, the throne room fight scene where they were like, good enough, guys. Good enough. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's, that's, the best, that's the best we're going to get out of this girl. It's like take two of 17, where you have to refine these type of things. You can't just try to be the first Daredevil and slap this together. That this bit there where you just like tape. rest on the table for no reason. Really yeah. Weird. yeah. I, I'll tell you what I see when I look at this, right? I'll just give it a, a second. A K-pop fan finish. routine? No. Like, what was that? That looks so... Uh, how is she doing this with like one fake leg? I, I'll tell it you never comes shot. off. I what just is, yeah, it'd be scary if she tried to kick him and her leg just went flying across the room. And then she like but, rolls to get it and uses it as a weapon. Now that's choreography. I mean, I, what this reminded me of was the fight scene in Ahsoka between Hayden Christensen and Rosario Dawson, where you have one person who's clearly way better and way yeah. faster than the other person, and they have to hold back and slow down so much just to give the other person a fighting chance. That's what this looked like to me. Like yeah, There's was... ways to, to go around this. You can film it differently and just, well, redo it. Like, yeah, there's a lot of... Do, it, lot of... <clears throat> do it with stunt doubles and do it with yeah. more than one take. Don't, because... It's great that you're trying to do this as one continuous take, and I know that was the hallmark of the Dale Daredevil series, but they did that with the clever use of stuntmen, and it they had an actor in Charlie Cox who could actually do a lot of the fight mm -hmm. choreography, and mm -hmm. they had um, stuntmen who could work really well with him, and it looked fantastic as a result. This looks like dog shit. This looks mm -hmm. like one guy being extremely slow and accommodating to make her look better. That's all it is. Just just how sure diverse is Echo? It's all of them. All of I it. I think she takes every box. <laughs> every box. She has a lot of boxes. <laughs> she's ethnically diverse. She's a woman. She is uh, yep. deaf. She's missing a limb. Um, so she's she's disabled. <laughs> um, that's pretty much everything. I don't know if she's gay. She or I was lame. about to say, she's got to be gay too, right? Just Might as well. <laughs> just point. Just throw some bi in there. Why not? Slap it in. Search. Also, I have like no concept between their powers, like Daredevil and Echo. I don't know. Is is she super powered or something? No, I have no yeah. idea. It, it, in the nothing. comics, as I understand it, she has the ability to mimic um, any of her opponents. So whatever their fighting style is, she can mimic them and um, you know fight okay. them on their own terms, which well, is clearly quite a useful didn't do skill. Yeah. No, it, well they changed it for the TV show. So what she did? Of course they did. <laughs> because why do? keep the interesting things if you what can just can... change? <sighs> Huh. Yeah, what she can do now is draw upon the power of her Native American ancestors <laughs> to, <laughs> to, up. to push yeah. her harder. No, Wait, that... drinker, you've seen so the goes... hot rod, right? Yeah. So what, she goes like, power the... of lion, and she just starts like, <laughs> 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 the spirit mom. <laughs> like, what the, the hell? spirit of my ancestors, but the the, the way that is. But does she fly? She goes perfect. spirit of eagle and tries to fly, and then just falls off the building. <laughs> <laughs> you know that was in the movie Stunt Rod. Oh my god! Well, I didn't realize how racist oh they god. are with their own shit, man. That's so stupid. Wait, that's, that's for so real? Stupid. Yeah, that's, that's apparently what they they went for. On that note, um, I should just leave and continue drinking. <laughs> Uh -huh. I think that's probably a good idea. You can continue no, drinking, but also stay. <laughs> we'll you allow can, it. Yeah. I'm going to take the dog for a walk while I pound back this bottle here. <laughs> <laughs> God bless you all, children. Thank, Thank you, you for Gundam. having me.
It, it's been an absolute honor, man. Thank you. And uh, try not to get drunk with the dog. It doesn't end well. I have it in a paper bag so the police won't know. The what, dog's the dog? in the paper bag? That's awful. No, the dog's outside the bag. <laughs> No, awesome, man. Thank you for coming on today, and I uh, wish you luck. Cheers, buddy. Oh, I forgot to say, I'm going to have a live show soon. I don't remember the title. Uh, my agent told me to promote it, but I don't know what it is. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> Good Get promotion, Gundam. Good job. We're going to have strippers <laughs> is and hookers <laughs> and booze. Good night. Thanks, man. Good night, sweet prince. <laughs> you really nailed that promo right there. I, I'm proud of I'm, it. I'm convinced. I don't know what it is yet, but I'm it's I'm in. Hey guys, I'm gonna be doing a thing at, at a time. Oh, my, oh, when? Like, see ya. <laughs> Are you free all year? I don't know what it's either. Good stuff. Um, yeah, what the hell were we talking about there? Oh yeah, Echo. Hello. Echo. Um, yeah, and her. Is this her supposed powers. to be a real fight? Like, just context-wise, are they actually fighting, or is it just like him? No, no dream really. sequence or training. I'm assuming it's. it's, it's I mean, understand it. It's well, a real there seems fight. to be other. Sure. So There's other fight. people in this scene that attack Daredevil, so I guess it's like an actual fight in the show. Yeah. This is where my immersion immediately just shatters because Matt, his foundational skill is boxing. Before he learned any of his other acrobatics and his skills, it's, he's, he's a boxer at heart. He would knock her the fuck out in 30 seconds. Like, they can't be fighting back and forth. It's just, you, you need to write around these things. It's just stupid. It's like, um, I don't know why they keep doing that. Like, uh, well, Echo is pretty damn like, skilled, okay? People. Like, I, Black Widow's fights aren't perfect, but seeing her actually use tactics and skills and techniques and technology, you know? Here, you know? I, I, I hate to reference Falcon the Winter Soldier, but I'm going to have to do it because mm. there's a point where the, the Dara Malaje fight the Winter Soldier uh. and they move his uh, their, uh, <laughs> vibranium arm, right? They just press a button on it and it fucking falls off him. Uh, and I thought, wouldn't it be interesting if that factored into this fight? Like, he knows that she's got an artificial leg and he can just, like, you know, punch it off her or something like that and, like, take advantage of that. But it just feels like, no, she just fights like a regular person. What's the point in her having that disability, then, if the, if, if it doesn't factor into any of her fight scenes? Yeah, if it doesn't affect the story, then you can really see it's just there to check boxes. That's why it gets Because I, I think there could be a lot from a character development point of view, like I think you could do a lot with a character who is at a considerable disadvantage, like she would be. Having an artificial leg, it's going to slow you down. You're not going to be as agile. You're not going to be as, as well balanced. Uh, but still just having the tenacity to keep fighting regardless. I think that could be really cool, and it would show mm -hmm. uh, you know, how, how determined she is, and that perhaps would win a lot of respect from the audience. But I know they won't do that with her i know what they'll do is their the whole gist of this show is going to be demonstrating that hey disabled people can kick ass just as much as regular people <laughs> you know and the fact that she's deaf as well doesn't matter she's just as good as everyone else but they can't well, she's that's just the reality and i wish they actually accounted for that within the story in a realistic way she's got one leg and she's deaf she's got a disadvantage how does she know but that would that, that would be that meaningful characterization and they won't do that it's <laughs> exactly. about like, of that that's crazy yeah. about making she, people she, Sorry. I was going to say, um, how can she team up with Matt if she's deaf and he's blind? Well, it'd be like Kier no evil, see no evil. Like, together, they make a film. Yeah, they made movies human. about that team. Yeah, but no. how do they, how, how do they, like, because she's going to become, like, things? a good person. So, like, how do, how do you, like, communicate with Matt? Oh, yeah. Um, he's not going to, he's, sign language is going to be a is it, He can't see what she's sign language and she can't hear him. Yeah, this is actually <laughs> a good right. That's why they're fighting, you yeah. see. They're, they're both like on each other's sides. Yeah, you, you they're nailed both it. on each other's sides, but like they can't tell. <laughs> That's what the fight was about. You nailed it. That's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> the fight is. Like, it, it's better to be. It's better to be deaf. No, it's better to be blind. <laughs> Sorry, let's fight. What do you say? <laughs> <Just push. laughs> oh man, I, I feel so sorry for Charlie Cox and Vincent D'Onofrio because they're both going to have to be in this show. And Can he die? Yeah. No, he's Kingpin. bad. Um, no, he's fine. <laughs> okay. he got oh, all right. <laughs> um, there's an interview with him, right? And it's so telling because it, his line is literally, as an actor, it's my job to make this script work. That, that's <laughs> literally how he phrases it. Like It's like I'm just it, following orders. <laughs> yeah, well, it's almost like, I'm sorry, I know it's shit, but it's like I'm doing the best I can to try and make this good. 
Yeah, him wasting him is one of the worst things they could have ever done. Because I think um like Daredevil season one, some of the best Marvel content, and he's easily like top three, top five villain in the entire you know series. His performance yeah. is so fantastic. Everything about it. And it's just to waste that on a grounded level, which we need so desperate desperately right now. Because after Thanos and all the craziness, you need to be able to just, you know, lower the stakes. And he's probably one of the best villains for a low stake story. And now he's just his mystique is just destroyed. Is Echo dropping all at once, or is it week by week? All at once. Oh, that must be shit for them to do that. Oh, well, Gary, Gary oh. said, like, and I believe him on this one, they, they wanted so badly to cancel this entire show, but they couldn't <laughs> find a way to... I believe that. <laughs> so they, their, their best solution was, fuck it, we'll just dump it all at once, rip the band-aid off, and then move on. But the and... problem is that there's nothing else out. Mm-hmm. It's January, isn't it? It's like the dumping the ground for so shit. So all we're going to talk about is Echo. <laughs> <laughs> that is kind of funny. <laughs> Hopefully they don't notice. You thought you were a save, huh? <laughs> it's almost worth watching just to see how bad it is. But No, because people really care about Daredevil's character, so they're going to check out Echo just like to see how it's utilized. Like I, like the She-Hulk thing, I think it was smart for Ugh. them to bait Daredevil because I watched it just to see like what, happened, what they're going to do with him. This mustard suit. It's terrible. But um, yeah, they're, he's one of the few characters that people still have legit investment with, and I can't believe they're wasting him like this. Yeah, um, I, I was interested as well because there's. Uh, you remember when they were trying to hype up the Rings of Power and they got the super fans together to give their thoughts on it, and they were quite, <laughs> oh, the, quite yeah, I do. diverse. Yeah, this is well, so they, bad. They've done something yeah, similar for Echo. And oh no! <laughs> I'll give you the I'll give you the highlights because. <laughs> Um, Echo Chamberlain was was uh, willing to troll through this stuff. It was basically one of those featurettes that you get on Disney Plus, where they interviewed a lot of the super fans uh, that were so excited for this show, and they gave their thoughts on it. So it's not a video so much as a series of still images, but it it paints a picture of the kind of fans that they attracted for this show and how they see Marvel fans. So you can tell me whether you think this is representative of your average Marvel fan. Hold up here. Uh, let's see what we got here. Uh, I'll have to just go through it. So we've got these guys here. Um, it's the new MCU. Great. Quite an interesting look they've got going on. No. But, uh, it's not the best of the bunch. I'll, I'll let it keep going. So we've got these guys. We have then got... Give it a few seconds. Wait, so those are the, people who are fans of the of MCU or Marvel. These are fans of these are fans of Marvel who were given a preview of Echo, so they're oh. like kind of sharing their thoughts on it. And it, I, I just I think it's interesting the people that they picked for this. So they've got a Doctor Who wannabe, I guess. <laughs> was it like a was it fancy dress or is everyone just like can't dress themselves? Yeah, it was weird outfits. Because I, I thought it was like, oh, is it like a character from the show? They look kind yeah, of I odd. thought that. <laughs> I mean, I like when they try to promote stuff to me. Can you tell me if like the story is good and the characters are interesting and not if like the actor or actress is a certain thing or not a thing? Like, it's just wanna, I just want a good story. I just want a good story. I, I think if I was to um, define or if I was to ask to give an example of like, Who's the kind of person who is going to champion a show like this? Uh, it would be these people here. Like, I think that's pretty representative. Um, but we've got a few more. Uh, He's very go. cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, oh. I'll block you with that. <laughs> I'm mean, sure. Let me see what else I've got here. Because uh, there's a couple more. Um, yeah. Yeah, I, they are absolutely they are insane. <laughs> There's a couple that <laughs> there's a couple of reasons I think they picked her, but okay, sure. Nice rack. <laughs> this guy looks very enthusiastic about what he's doing right now. It was immense, apparently. Uh, and these guys, <sighs> yeah. What are we doing? The fight was. I, incredible. I've never seen people dress like this in real life. Like. <laughs> <laughs> don't yeah, even mean this like me. Well, I, I just this, never, this, never seen this in real life. <laughs> th this is this is what I, I find so interesting about these clips. Is just like these are the people that they chose to be like connect with the Marvel fan base. I think they've all got a very unique 
or a very um, specific look about them. And yeah, it's not your average person who just watches superhero shows. Um, yeah, you're right. None of these people scream Marvel fan to me. Where like you would see clips in the '90s and you'd see all the people they like, influence. Like, yep, fans, fans, fans. Was, oh, yeah, people. that would be my next question. Those are probably like influencers or YouTube people or something. I I would assume. I, I don't think they are meant to be that though. I don't think they're meant to be like specific influencers i've never certainly never seen any of them but like they're just meant to be what they consider fans of this show and this is okay. what you end up with. you know i've completely forgot to tell you this metal uh when oh, we hey. went we went axe throwing it was very fun um we did it's awesome on the way in there were three girls who were coming out they were sitting down and doing stuff on their phones and while you guys were sorting out like the entry forms and stuff i was like looking around and i could hear them talking and one of the girls said, I don't really see the point in doing any of this if we're not going to be live reacting to it. We shouldn't have just recorded. We should have been doing it live. <laughs> oh, and no. the other girl was like, I don't like doing it live because then we've got to like worry about a bunch of other stuff when we're supposed to be doing it. Then she was like, well, why are we even here? And I was like, what the fuck, man? I don't know. Hang on with your this friends. This is the world that we live in now. <laughs> Yeah, just, there's there's always that temptation when you go places or, or you're doing something mildly interesting. You sort of think to yourself, like, could I record this and then put it on like Twitter or like YouTube? And then I just think, no, because it's cringe <laughs> as fuck to be like recording <laughs> footage in front of like like normal people and then thinking yeah. that anyone's going to be even remotely interested in watching me do all this goofy shit. I'd rather just do it and enjoy it for me. It's it's. Yes. Yeah, it's this weird yeah, mentality. I genuinely you know. think people need to be taught to go back to doing that because it makes you a more well-rounded person to have experiences that are just yeah. between you or you and a friend or you and family that you didn't post online and ask people to fucking comment on. 